Well, it's now 2019. The world's not on fire yet, so we might as well celebrate with some fun facts with Discord. What do you say? Okay, here we go. Coca-Cola used a special term to keep track of their sales, the percentage of all of humanity's hydration they provide. Imagine being that cocky with your drink. The little jerking movement that your eyes do sometimes is called nystigmus. It is known as the dancing eyes due to the jerky, at times erratic movements. It is much more pronounced under certain conditions, such as alcohol intoxication, head trauma, albinism, and more. Because the horizontal gaze nystigmus is pronounced under alcohol intoxication, it is used as a field sobriety test. Oh, that makes sense. Red velvet cake is actually just chocolate flavor, but it's dyed red to trick you into thinking that it's a different flavor. And that's why I have trust issues. The first ever McDonald's mascot was Speedy, a chef with a hamburger or cheeseburger shaped head until he was replaced by Ronald McDonald in 1967. Ronald was a hit for the company, although his appearance was changed a little. He sparked commercials, ads, and was even in a few parades. Speedy is still on a few older McDonald's signs, and even ones that were updated, but nobody bothered to change the sign. I much prefer the idea of a chef with a hamburger head over Ronald McDonald, because he gives me nightmares, so can we go back to him, please? There is an award called the Darwin Award, and it is given to people who significantly improve the gene pool by eliminating themselves from the human race in an obviously stupid way. Winners have to follow the following criteria. Out of the gene pool, dead or sterile. Excellence, astounding misapplication of judgment. Self-selection, cause one's own demise. Maturity, capable of sound judgment, and veracity. The event must be true. Is that actually an award? I know a lot of people joke around with that, but is that actually an award we give out? There was a technique in old cartoons called Mickey Mousing, where the music would be written first, and the animation would be synchronized to the music. It's referred to as Mickey Mousing because Mickey Mouse cartoons did it all the time. Yes, because Mickey, old Mickey Mouse cartoons didn't have voices in it, so it was easier to just make the music first. Yeah. During the popular music video for My Chemical Romance's song Na 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 from the album Danger Days, there is a scene in which an outfit used by the band during another album entitled The Black Parade, oh no, can be found worn out and buried in the sand. Allegedly, this is to show the departure of the band's drummer, Bob Breyer, who was kicked out after The Black Parade was released due to some controversy involving him and several others in and outside of the band. The sad. The keyboard layout has been changed from A, B, C, D, E, F to Q, W, E, R, T, Y. Because when people were typing in the A, B, C, D, E, F layout, people were typing so fast that the mechanical arms underneath the keys clashed and stuck together. So they randomized the keys to what would be the Q, W, E, R, T, Y layout to fix the problem. That makes so much sense. Blockbuster and Nintendo hated each other. Nintendo saw the rental industry as copyright infringement, and indeed in Japan, there are many laws against rentals thanks to them. This was due to many Japanese rental places renting out cracked copies of software at the time the laws were written. However, here in the United States, we already had rental protections in place. As well as that nifty copyright law that prevented stores from making cracked copies, However, that didn't stop Blockbuster and various other rental stores from writing their own instructions for the game, which in turn was an infringement on the artist who made the original instruction manual. Eventually, both reached a compromise once Sega stepped in and okayed rentals on their end, but both still quite hated each other. That's kind of sad to think about. I, I do not remember ever getting a manual with the Blockbuster rentals, but that's heartbreaking to know that they kind of made their own. It's weird. Four episodes of The Twilight Zone were ever pulled from syndication or prevented from entering syndication due to lawsuits of one form or another. They were Miniature, A Short Drink from a Certain Fountain, Sounds and Silence, and most infamously, The Encounter. Due to the latter's poor reception and treatment from and of the Japanese American community. Good. And uh, finally... The long... Beautiful dips along the center of western sword blades, even many modern knives, are fullers. On top of these being beautiful, they actually serve to lighten the blade as a lot of material went into forging the blade, making it very heavy to handle. The fullers lighten the blade a good 25-30% to 30 without any sacrifice to structural integrity. Though, strangely, antiquarians called them blood grooves, despite the fact that these never served any purpose involving blood. 
I have no idea why they would call it that. It's kind of gorish. A lot of swords like this were made for self-defense, not really death death. I mean, so, some of them were. We're not going to get into that. I'm over embellishing. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.